It's an established neighborhood with nice houses fronted by big yards. You wouldn't think a sex offender lived here. And as far as we know, one doesn't. But for a little while this winter, this Valley View Drive house was listed on the sex offender registry. It has been devastating. Stephanie Muka says it's affected her personally and professionally. <laughs> She trains dogs for a living. Especially with bully breeds, there's a baseline of trust and it is a very tight knit community. So when she saw a Facebook post from a fellow dog rescuer saying she was stranded at a local Walmart, Muka says she reached out to the woman and her husband and son. So for one night I offered, you know, a shower, hot meal, and that was about it. She didn't know the son, Troy DeRoyne, was a convicted sex offender or that he had used her address to register. I had no reason to think a second thought about him. Scott County Sheriff's officers say they didn't know either until weeks later. Got a phone call from a family member in the southern United States. I believe it was from Georgia. Detective Tom Leonard says he followed up on the complaint. And while this bluegrass address is legal under the 2000 foot rule, the fact that DeRoyne did not report Muka lives here is not. And it's a fact Leonard says without that phone call might not have been discovered for months. In October, we, we make for sure that they're there. And then throughout the year, there's random checks that we do. Um, but we might not find it until that point. He says it's a manpower issue. A half dozen detectives in his bureau, 353 registered sex offenders living in Scott County. For most of these sex offenders are compliant. There is a small, the, less than 10% of them are the ones you really have to watch after. But his team can't always do that. So yes, it is scary. Counting on those convicted of crimes to tell the truth counting on our community to help police sex offenders. I don't get how they take them at their word. Muka says more needs to be done for herself moving forward. Pretty much every single client canceled. And for other families in the future. In Scott County, it can happen to almost anyone. Elizabeth Goodsit, KWQC TV6 News.